for my next vlog. I didn't get a uh, clip earlier, so yeah. I'm going to bed. Good night. Abby's a totalitarianist. Every time we go to a dance competition, I hear people toss around the saying, well, this is political. Oh, look, she's going to win because it's all politics. Well, then I guess politics is like... Mm. <laughs> That's what this is about. This is about the politics of the ALDC. The ALDC is very political. We are all campaigning all the time to keep our daughters on top. This week, we're performing a routine called Free the People. It's a big patriotic number, and I think it's important for the kids today to realize that they have a voice. Asia, pay attention to what they're doing. Originally, this routine had four girls on the conservative side and four girls on the liberal side. But with Mackenzie out of high choreographed routine in 17 minutes, if she thinks that her kid can learn a whole routine in 17 minutes, then I don't need anybody else on my team. Abby, for 17 minutes, I think that they did a fine job. She forgot about James working with them for an hour. She forgot about Gianna the next day working for 45 minutes. If I do my math right, that's too much. With the door hitting them on the ass on the way out. Hi, ladies. Hey, listen, I just wanted to tell you congratulations. Dumbest routine I've ever seen that you guys did. Kathy comes in. And she is like a raging lunatic. You know what? Nationals, we have something enormous planned. Bigger than you. We know you. If that's possible. So look out because I think that you will not have anything to say because you're amazed. I have had it with Kathy's mouth today. She brings out the absolute worst of people, including me. Hey! Stop! Oh, stop. Who wants to hear your mouth? Kathy! You're finished! You're washed up! You're oh, all yeah, doing nothing! Oh, really? Get on the broom and fly on my home! I need to get on the broom and fly away home! Don't touch other people! I'm not you touching you! You started a thing and you poked me I in the back! I told you to shut your mouth! Don't touch other people! Do it's talk through other kids' dances! You're a hypocrite! Inside my own home are in February and March, and I can announce both of them officially right now. Uh, Saturday, February 23rd, I'm going to be in Waynesboro, Virginia at the Waynesboro High School for Night of the Hunt. You know, Waynesboro was a Smoky Mountain wrestling area because we had TV on up in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, WSV, oh gosh, Channel 3 up there in Harrisonburg. Anyway, and of course the Rock and Roll Express before that was... Come competition time, I will. Okay. The only reason I think that Abby won't just replace yeah, Paige. She didn't let me dance. That really would make me feel really sad. Yeah. This has been an honor getting this far. But I don't really know if I'm going to be doing a routine mm. or. I'm deciding right now. <laughs> Our group number is coming up next. So I'm going to run the number one more time. 
Do I take a chance on Paige, who is still recovering, or do I take a chance on the new girl, Nakaya, who's yet to prove herself? It's a tough choice. We're all doing the dance. Let's go. You didn't come 3,000 miles to sit on your butt. Every time that sky comes back into my mind, the colors shift, the blue gets bluer, and the horizon widens. When the words start speaking for the group dance, because there is no music, the girls start crawling around on the floor and, like, punching themselves in the face, and I thought, well, okay. But today, that was a good thing. Drum roll, please, for your top junior Oscar Smallbird. Your first place winner is in the genre of contemporary... Dance Company Act number 70, I see the pipeline. It was all said and done. The group routine, and we all know the group comes first, was the overall high scoring winners in the entire competition. The Abby Lee Dance Company is going to leave California victorious. About Kelly not being happy that Paige has a new solo. Well, Kelly's never really happy, is she? Every single week we go to a competition and everybody learns a new dance. In a new solo, if you forget what to do, if you mess up, nobody knows but your teachers. Kelly would rather Paige do one of her old solos that she can't remember and never did well to begin with. So what's the point? Let her do something that's new, simple, easy, and she looks gorgeous doing it. Let Paige go out on stage and shine, Kelly. You just have to tell me right now, are we doing a new number that you're doing on Sunday, or are you not? I thought I was doing a gold number. I just gave Paige a golden opportunity, but Paige would rather play it safe. Big mistake, kid. Big. Get up, get up, get up. Right, split apart from that. Then here comes Kip James, the the Seriously? 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 Our next match of the pre-show is Shark Boy Dang. versus Mikey Bat. This is back before Shark Boy and he lost the impersonation gimmick, but he still had quite a cult I'm following. I'm exhausted, I'm but sure I'm going to see how much footage I have, so I'll we'll check back. It's like whenever TNA would like rip off WWE stuff, that made it look so Bush League. And, you know, when WWE, for example, when they tried to parry, you know, Billionaire Ted and they had the Huckster and the Nacho Man, that's what, that, that's the vibe I got from that as well. They're so tacky where they're trying to parody and make fun of or, or, or otherwise, you know, remind people of the more successful thing that they are parodying. Opening match is a six-man tag as the Diamonds in the Rough of Elix Skipper, David Young, and their coach Simon Diamond take on the Three Live Crew, B.G. James, better known as Road Dog, a.k.a. the man is killing SmackDown, Conan and Ron the Truth Killings, former NWA World Champion. Skipper and Young are a bit of a role here. They've been coached by Simon Diamond for the last couple of months. They were formed, the Diamonds in the Rough, in June of 2005, and they've actually stuck around until 2007, which surprised me. Three Live Crew, of course, is one of the more popular stables, one of the more memorable stables in TNA history. Uh, they formed several years ago. Uh, Three Live Crew back together, though, after a brief tiff. There was a lot of inner turmoil in the group when Kip James debuted for the company and tried to drive a wedge between them. But ever since the Chris Candido Memorial... Hey, guys. I'm in a vlog. See ya.